In today's video, I demonstrate the dirty pour technique. One of the easiest techniques to start with if you are a new fluid artist or pouring artist. Just pour some paint and let gravity do the rest. Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is about this one right here. This is in the series of using the same colors but different techniques. And with this one right here, it is just a dirty pour and using uh, the same colors that I used down below here and also the other paintings over here along the wall. So thank you again for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. That way you can get notified when I get a new video up. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, well, let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, number three. All right, let's see. I think we'll just do a dirty pour. Start up here in this corner. So you just pick a side, pick a corner, and you just start pouring up into it, circular motion, however you're feeling as the colors are coming out. And to determine how much paint you need for a canvas, all you need to do is take the sides, so the length times width, and divide that by 28, and you come up with how many ounces you need of paint. And that's how you can figure out if you're going to be able to get enough paint across the entire canvas. And so right now I'm just taking some cups that we used with the other paints that I did and I put them in the corners and then I'm just kind of breaking up the blue a little bit. Um, but that's really what I'm doing here right now. Of course, going through with a torch is gonna help you get all the air bubbles out and see if there's any cells that maybe pop up in the midst of all of this as well. And it's now time to tilt. So really you just wanna kinda go corner to corner, side to side, making sure the weight of the paint gets to all the corners and all the sides. And that way you can get the sides completely covered like I'm doing right now. And I'm just taking my tool right now and fixing the sides and the corners, making sure that all the areas that have canvas still showing through the paint, um, that that gets covered up. And again, I take the same kind of color and I drip it on the sides in order to, as the paint came over the sides.
So right now it's upside down. So as I turn this, can you see in the upper right hand corner something? To me, it looks like a dolphin coming out of the ocean. I really love this and I love all of the ones um, in this series with the colors that I've chosen. Stay tuned if you're interested in seeing the colors that I used for this series and layering of the cups for the first four in the series of seven. Payne's gray. No, that's not Payne's Gray. This is Payne's Gray. This is a combination of a bright blue and um, metallic black to make it like this navy, really super dark blue. So I have that. And we have a teal color. And I'll put all of the actual colors. Um, actually, I'll grab them here. <laughs> so that is this basic aqua. I better put my glasses on or I'm not gonna be able to see the actual colors. Yeah, it's bright aqua. Then this one right here is metallic blue. Um, and that's this one right here. Let's see where did it go? It's metallic blue right here. And then this one right here is cobalt blue metallic. And it's making a mound, so it's not thick, but it's not thin. And that cobalt blue is this right there. Uh, then this one right here is lake blue. And again, making the mound. Um, then this one right here is, whoa. So the one that I said the metallic blue is not. It's this turquoise green. That's that one. This is the metallic blue. So, so I was incorrect on that one. Uh, then we've got gold, and that's uh, the acrylic Master's Touch gold. This is Payne's Gray, and it's also Master Touch. Uh, this one's right here is Artist Loft Silver. Uh, that one's right here. And then this one right here was a metallic, um, it's called satin finish, let's see, metallic paints, but it's a, a pewter, so it's a darker silver. And I went ahead, since I hardly had any left, I just went ahead and just put it inside of that. And then this right here is a mixture of the liquid acrylic uh, white, I titanium white, but I put in there this opal 
um, glitter medium gel. So that's in there. And then I did put this shift in this one here too. So this basic green, I put this shift color. It's kind of cool. It makes like that. So those are the colors that I've chosen today. Uh, and we'll get started here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna pack this stuff up really fast and get going. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to be layering all four cups of my four, first four in the series and I'm layering them in different ways. So the first one I start with the silver and I layer all the way down to the um, dark silver which is a pewter and then I go backwards and then I do it in reverse again with a third cup and then reverse again with the fourth cup. So again, I'm layering all four of the cups for the first four in the series using the four different techniques of flip cup, wreck a ring pour, ring pour, and a dirty pour. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.